What up guys? It's Chris with Bottle Cat Barbecue. Today's gonna be a quick video because we're just doing some chicken wings out on the pit barrel cooker. You've seen me do chicken wings before. Um, I'll leave a link up here to another video I did out on my GMG. But really the star of what today is, is the rub I'm using. Now, recently, Bexton's Backwoods Barbecue sent me some rubs of theirs. I'll leave a link to their website down below. They're out of Michigan. Uh, Jeff is the guy that's running it. I wanna use this video as an opportunity to thank Bexton's Backwoods Barbecue. Um, for sending me out these rubs and to show everybody else what Bexon's Beckwoods Barbecue has got going on. Say that five times fast. In all honesty, I won these rubs on a contest. Um, some of these rubs sound fantastic. So they sent me a sample pack of a few things. Um, they have a really cool label. Um, th again, this is just their sample pack. Um, but this is their competition beef. And he sent me a chicken and pork rub. This one. Mango peach habanero. Now, you know I live in Arizona, so I love spice, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, so this is one thing I'll be putting on the wings today. But the other thing is, send me a huge pack of their uh, Bexton's Buffalo Wing Rub. Um, so I'll be doing this as well. So this is gonna be a quick cook today. Jeff, thank you for the rubs, man. I wish you all the success in the world, um, but really, I just want these wings to come out delicious because I'm getting hungry. All right, let's get going.
So here's what they look like coming off the pit. These are the peach mango habaneros. Color on those things. And then these are the buffalo. And cra cracking that lid gets that pit about 400 degrees. So this skin gets nice and crispy. That one looks great. And the smell coming off these things is fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna let these things cool off and we're gonna dive in. But hey, before we get into these things, let's review real quick, just because there's a fast cook. So let's just go over that everything again. So you wanna get your rub on your chicken and put it back in the fridge for about 20 minutes or so. I usually go about half hour. That lets the, the rub set real nice and lets sweat into the meat. Then I got my pit barrel um, warmed up. My pit barrel usually runs around 280 or so. So I put the chicken on and let it go for, at that for about 20 minutes, at about 280. It was around 275. Um, and then we went out there, we flipped the chicken, and we left that lid cracked a little bit. That's gonna bump up the temperature, to let that skin crisp up, and it's gonna, basically it gets, gets the outside nice and firm while the inside stays nice and juicy. Uh, we let that go for about 10 minutes, then flipped it again, leave that lid cracked, and I think my temperature went about 400. So it got up there, which is what you want for that nice crispy skin. So it was about a total of cooking time of about 40 minutes. And these things are smelling fantastic. So let's get into these things. We're gonna do the buffalo first. Still nice and juicy, of course. That pit barrel, love it. Pop this thing open, flat. That moist meat. Spices in there. Obviously, it's all on the skin, but so the skin didn't tear away. Okay, but it's 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 crispy. It's firm. Crunch. Has a nice back end heat to it. Um, it's not overpowering. It's not like oh my god hot. It's just that nice buffalo seasoning. Nice back end heat. All right. Let's, let's take a taste of the drumette. Get a nice bit of the char on there. Yeah. Has just that subtle heat to it. It's always on the back end. It does build on itself a little bit as you eat. Um, but just the flavor of the pit barrel is adding to it. Um, you get the smokiness um, and that just that the taste of, of, of cooking over a, over a charcoal fire. You get that smokiness in there, that earthiness, and yeah, you get the buffalo taste. It's not the same flavor as if you just dump a sauce, a, a buffalo sauce on a wing. It's not the same flavor. It's uh, more natural, and it's just a nice compliment to the meat. Really good. Now let's try the peach mango habanero. Looking forward to this one. Nice color on there. Juicy. Pop it open. Juice is dripping down. The meat, moist. All right, I'm gonna taste the drum at first this time. Here we go. Has a sweetness to it. Uh, that back end heat is there. It's delayed. Yep. Mm. It's just a very subtle sweetness. It's it's more heat. It's more heat than sweet. Uh, but again, it's a it's a subtle flavor. Um, I didn't cake the rub on these as much as I did on the buffalo, just because I didn't have it as much rub. <laughs> I was being stingy. I, I want to, I want to save it for another cook. But if I if I if I poured it on as much as I did the buffalo, I'd be getting it more. But I mean, look look at this. This is juicy. Um, flavor complements the chicken really well. It's a good bite. It's a it's a nice heat. It's not it's not oh my god habanero. It's just a nice heat. Getting a little 
more mango on this one. Yeah, it's a little, little more sweet. Man, this this chicken is just juicy. So the chicken wasn't on the pit that long. About 40 minutes total. That's what you get when you use um, a high heat method. It just keeps the chicken nice and moist and juicy. Lets the flavors um, compound on, on the surface there with the rub. Mm, it's delicious. So this is a great meal for myself. I don't know what the rest of the family is going to be doing. Um, but Jeff, again, thank you very much for the rubs, man. You're doing a great job there with Bexton's Backwoods Barbecue. So everyone, again, um, link to his website down below. Go check him out. Get these rubs. Um, it's going to be a good product. This is delicious. So I, I, I would stand behind anything he produces. So, hey guys, thank you again. Um, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe. See what else I got going on. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Um, and hey guys, as I always say, keep on grilling.